back for the conclusion slash finale slash announcing the end of my Stellar's Ancient Relic series. So, just to sort of give you a recap of what happened. There was a war that started off camera, and I originally thought about putting it in the footage, but after watching it back, I just decided that it would simply be too tedious and too much of a hassle to actually show because it was just so boring and grindy. I mean, it was, f let's be clear, it was a fun war at first, and a lot of mobility and strategic maneuvering and outflanking and out outflanking, and it was great at first, but unfortunately, or at least that's how it felt from my perspective, but watching it back, it was very boring to actually watch because there were a lot of battles and because this is late game Stellaris, as you can see right there, the date right now is 2414. Because of that, the game is very laggy. There's a lot of unnaturally long pauses that just annoyingly detract from it. So just to sort of give you a recap of what happened, my friends over here, the Anto Kingdom, who we have a defensive pact with, they have this little bit of territory down here, and they had war declared on them by one of their neighbors to take it off them. So we got dragged into a war with effectively half the galaxy. Now, one would normally think you're screwed. Better kiss your ass goodbye. But it actually went a lot better than it really had any right to. See, this little enclave of territory we got here, that's the result of that whole mess with the Great Khan, is that used to be Marauder territory. Anyways, I just ignored that for the most part. I posted a single fleet of 20,000 here, and upgraded this star base a little bit, so that any enemy fleets that showed up there wouldn't have to, wouldn't be able to do anything. And we got quite far into the Lenara, who, despite having, at the start of the war, equivalent fleet strength to us, they didn't actually show up with more than like 30,000 strength that I fought so far. And as you can tell, we've occupied most of them. There's just a handful of stuff, and then a lot of them fully occupied. But, subtle status quo is still at minus 21, because... For one thing, the war was declared by the Terran Republic, and we haven't fought more than one of their fleets, and we haven't occupied any of their territory. More than that, there are five separate empires participating in this war, so... Getting them to the point where they're willing to sue for peace will be a nightmare. Other than that, like I said, there's a lag, and just the fact that as everything's dragged on, it's just become more and more of a grind fest, and less and less of something that I'm enjoying, just because the actual play style of the... Uh, of playing with vassals and such, I found that I don't really have a lot of fun with just because vassals tend to be rather dumb. So I'm thinking I'm going to end this series here. Now what I'm actually going to do is at some point I will do another Solar series obviously, though I don't know if it'll be a YouTube recorded style one or a live stream that I upload the VODs for. But, I'm going to upload my last save game, which I titled Finale, onto Dropbox. 
and put a link in the video so that if you like, you can download that save and give it a try yourself from here. Maybe you won't find it as tedious as I do. But in addition to that stuff, there's just a couple of strategic problems that made it a headache. As you can see here, two of the systems right smack dab in the middle of my space have been occupied. Because they have wormholes in them. Wormholes leading right into enemy territory. Something I did not notice. Because we haven't been at war. By, by the time this happened, I hadn't had a single war in about a century. So I just kind of was ignoring those wormholes, and then this happened, and then I'd forgotten about them. But basically, it was a combination of things that just made my enjoyment of this series drop through the floor. And if I was to continue it on, I think you would be able to tell that I was not enjoying it, so it's best to end it here. And honestly, it's probably a good thing too, because like I said, I've just overall not found playing with Vassus very enjoyable compared to my usual way of doing things with I control all the stuff simultaneously. So when I go back to Solaris again, I think it'll be with more I control all the stuff. Now, unfortunately, this does mean we won't get to the late game. But, honestly, that doesn't bother me as much as you think. I've lost count of the number of times I started the game as Stellaris and not reached the late game. It just does not bother me. And for me, if I reach the year 2400, then it's been a full game. That's just how I view it. If I reach 2400, the game has been finished. So, with that said, I am going to end this series here. Thank you so, so much for watching this, and I do hope you found it at least somewhat enjoyable. Next time will probably be a traditional wide, conquer all the things playstyle in Stellaris, but we'll be following this up. The replacement stream will be Wolfenstein The New Order. But that's not going to be going up on the YouTube channel, just because Wolfenstein and FPS games in general, I just don't feel are a very good fit for my channel. So I've set up a new channel called Dark Phoenix Gaming Live, which I'm going to put in the link bar. And what that's going to be is, that's going to be the place where I upload the VODs for all the streams that I don't really f think fit on this channel. So that'll be strategy games that don't fit my usual mold of role-playing and emergent storytelling. Just strategy games where I'm still kind of learning the game. And RPGs where I just didn't think the playthrough was a very good fit for my channel, or I wasn't role-playing very much. Or just, in general, games that aren't strategy games or RPGs. Or survival games. Anything that doesn't fall into the typical type of things that I do on the channel, or in some other way I think would be better suited to be somewhere else, will go on this new archive channel. Anyways, I'm going to end this here, and if you got and even a little bit of enjoyment out of this series, then please consider liking, leaving a comment down below, and subscribing to keep up to date with the latest videos.
Same thing on my Twitch channel, except that it's following instead of subscribing because I am not a Twitch affiliate yet. Sad face. So long for now, everybody. See you next time.